Wow, you'd never guess how amazing. And we are joined by Heidi, the director of the IU Art Museum. Thanks for being here so much. It's my pleasure. How did the IU Art Museum secure a painting such like that? Well, we were very lucky. Our second director, both art directors, Henry Hope and Tom Solly, my two predecessors, we were very visionary in what they collected. And they wanted a teaching collection using first-rate examples. And Tom Solly was especially sensitive to women artists. And so he acquired this from uh, Wildenstein's in 1975. It had come from Agnews in London. It had passed down her own children. Mrs. Chinnery's children had died before she did. So it went to a nephew. Various dealers came to Agnews, Wildenstein's, and to us in 1975. That's amazing. So the painting is at the IU Art Museum. Absolutely. It's one of our great treasures. Wonderful. But you have a, a special exhibit going on currently yes. with this. Yes. Tell us about that. Well, we're trying to create a, a cultural surround that enriches people's understanding of the painting. And so we've got installation of papers from the Lilly Library, both related to Vijay Lebrun, the painter, mm -hmm. and Madame de Genly, the writer. So that helps. And Susan Schwib's video, which you just saw, is also on display so that students and visitors, they can wear earphones and listen to it. And then we have a series of programs, have had a series of programs, uh, visiting speakers. And we played Viotti's music last Sunday because Viotti is still in the repertoire, which I think is just so cool. And we have the Jacobs School of Music. Mm -hmm. um, it, just amazing what IU has to offer. That's fantastic. Now, how did you decide to do this as an exhibit? Well, in 2011, we did a seminar focused on the Vijay Lebrun. Mm -hmm. And I wanted the students to understand that uh, no work of art is really done uh, in a vacuum. It comes out of a cultural and historical context. Mm -hmm. And Vijay Lebrun's story is so interesting. I mean, here she is, the first painter to be a painter to royalty. And then you've got the French Revolution. Then you have an English sitter. Then you have this connection to Viotti. And I just thought, ooh, this is going to be cool. <laughs> And we were able to bring in all kinds of scholars, including Cherry Williams and the whole gang from the Sage Costume Institute. We saw 18th century clothing. It was just wonderful. Well, thanks so much. It's very, very exciting. Yes. And if yes. you'd like to check it out yourself, visit their website to learn more about this fabulous exhibit.